your child has recurrent swollen tonsils or recurrent ear infections, they're vitamin D deficient. And ear infections, the, the, the doctors don't understand that they're literally getting bacteria coming up that's going into the eustachian tubes. And this is a vitamin D deficiency at its heart. Um, I can tell you uh, about a patient that I had who came in. It was one of my assistant's daughters and she was 12. She had been having tonsil infections for many years. And by the time she turned 13, her doctor suggested she have surgery to remove the tonsils. We put her on a vitamin D regimen. They shrunk down and they never bothered her again. She's 16 or 18 years old now. It doesn't work for every child, but before I would ever put my child through a tonsil surgery, some of them are necessary. I would want to know they'd had a, a normal evolutionary vitamin D level for at least six months before I would ever do that. I would never want to remove any tonsillar tissue if it wasn't necessary. Sometimes you have to, but your child, if you have had, if your child had chronically swollen tonsils, this is really root cause. Under below 20. Okay. Low 20. And keep in mind that if you if you're in the ma major medical paradigm, if you're 21 or 22, your doctor sees that falling within the normal range. It used to be 30 to 100, and then they changed it. Everywhere else changed it from 20 to 50, and they changed that due to uh, uh, AI because they said, oh, everyone's down. Let's just make the 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 normal down. There's not yeah. a single study to support that's healthy. So if you go to your doctor and your doctor says, oh, your vitamin D level is toxic, they'll think because it's over 50, it's toxic. But the real limit is 100. That's the first yeah. thing. The second thing is no one's ever died from a vitamin D overdose. So everyone should take a deep breath. So if you're above 30, you're probably not going to be sick at 30. You'll have some bruxism. 30 to 35, you'll have, you could have some symptoms. Some people won't. When you're at 20 and below, you're going to have much many more symptoms. But 20 to 30, that's the range where people have all these anxiety, depression, IBS. And they're, they'll be like, well, my vitamin D level is fine. My doctor measured it. And he's amazing or she's amazing. The way I view vitamin D is that you have a reservoir. And... That's your tank. And even though you may, so a, a great daily dose, the way you can think of it is it's 1,000 international units IU per 25 pounds. Okay. So 4,000 IU for a 100-pound um, person. If you're low, giving that 2,000, 2,000, or 3,000, 4,000, it's not going to fill the tank. You want to have a higher dose called a loading dose. I don't believe it's extremely natural, but I would much rather someone do something unnatural than end up in the hospital with an infection, right? Okay. So the maximum daily dose I recommend for anyone who's over the age of 18 is 20,000 international units. And the reason is that's the amount that you can make sun tanning in your bathing suit on a nice day. So that's physiologic. Once you get to that 20,000, Sunlight is actually turning the vitamin D into something called lumestrol, which is where vitamin D gets switched into a sunscreen. All right. And yes, people are working on lumestrol as a sunscreen, but they need funding and that comes from big pharma. So you won't see that, that anytime soon. So I like to think of 20,000 as the maximum dose, and that's a short-term dose. Now you can take more. You can I'm on video taking 100,000 IU and, and it's still perfectly safe to get away from the idea that it sounds like such a toxic dose. 20,000 of everything sounds too much. 40,000 IU of vitamin D is one milligram. DoctorsToTrust.com. Please share this video with loved ones.